seven of my Christmas Village 2021 full tutorial series. Aesthetics are both objective and subjective. The objective component of aesthetics comes once again from ancient Greece. Ancient Greek art dictated a set of rules that artists needed to follow in order to produce an object, a piece of art that would be considered beautiful, good-looking, and those rules are still in use nowadays with modern art. The subjective component of aesthetics comes from personal experiences, uh, from the way we interact with objects, with art, and also with other people. We are all different, we have all different characters, we had all different experiences in our lives. So each one of us considered object, art, people in different ways. It's normal. So why I'm talking about all of this? Because I'm doing a project with surely as a, an objective component, but as also a very high uh, subjective components. It's not 50-50. Yeah, I'm doing it, I'm constantly in contact with it, so um, let's say it is just 10% objective and 90% subjective. And I am asking for your comments, and I promise you I'm reading all of your comments. Not because I want to give uh, a more I wanted to get more attention to my channel, yes it is also true, but especially because uh, I want to be sure that I'm doing something good. I may consider this very beautiful, very perfect, but I'm too uh, subjective on this. So if uh, I read a comment saying, hey, come on, you are doing uh, something wrong, are you sure? That you want to go that way. I'm not saying that uh, I will consider the, all of your comments poor, pure, true and uh, go every time with what you are suggesting. No, I would be a liar if I, I was to telling you that. I'm just uh, taking all of your comments and they will help me think what I am doing. Uh, they help me have a different look at what I'm doing. And sometimes I get a comment that help me realize that I'm doing something wrong. So thank you for your comments. So please continue commenting. And that's the case with this part 7. I'm redoing something because one of your comments gave me a good uh, a good uh, point of view and I will try to correct it. Then I will also continue doing some my restyling because it is very long and it will take me so more uh, part to complete it. Let's go. Thank you once again for all of your comments guys. I really appreciate all of them. A little revolution here with my fountain. Uh, last uh, uh, week, Antonio commented, are you sure that you want to have the Poseidon statue laying simply on top of the base of uh, the uh, fountain like that? I am not too convinced about that. Uh, and uh, he also suggested why not using a couple of dolphins standing uh, one on each side of Poseidon. I couldn't find uh, suitable dolphins here simply because I just have 1.4 and 1.5 centimeters from each side. Very difficult to find uh, dolphins with the correct dimension, with the correct scale and also standing there. But I had to do something, okay, because it was absolutely right. My point of view was not good with the statue. Um, 
firstly, I promised to add some more bricks all along here in order to fill the gap I was having there. And so I added uh, from each side some more bricks. And I also changed the background because I wasn't convinced about that. And I used a background that is a mosaic of uh, uh, waves, of ocean waves, of sea waves. And now it had uh, more movement to the statue and it also gave a good contrast between blue and bronze there. So it's clear I couldn't find dolphins, but I had to do something. And <laughs> thank you, Antonio. I thought about it and I found a solution. Maybe you will judge it uh, awful than the previous solution, but anyway, I had I found the solution. I uh, took uh, two pieces of styrofoam, one for the front ear and one for for the base ear, uh, a U-shaped base ear, a U-shaped piece there, and a plain uh, flat surface here, because I needed to add some depth to the uh, base of the fountains if I wanted to make a uh, change. Uh, so I had a three millimeters uh, uh, piece of uh, uh, styrofoam here in the front there, glued there, and then a U-shaped uh, piece of uh, styrofoam that was going a little over the edge of the uh, original base. So uh, I want to have continuity. Then I used the same technique I used for the seat right there. And I applied some um, silicone sealant on the U-shaped uh, piece of styrofoam uh, in order to get some more waves, some more movements. Then I painted the silicones once it dried, once it cured with some uh, bronze. Luckily, I already found when I painted the, uh, when I retouched the paint of the statues having the same bronze color of the statues. So now I have uh, all the uh, base here uh, with water, with the bronze water and also the set. And I've not ruined the statue, guys, because the statue is removable. Little secret there. So the statue is, is still intact. Uh, no scratch, no silicon on top of it. But I added this uh, possibility to include it there. And this is the U-shaped piece here. Uh, if the base was 3 cm and 5 mm, I had a new shape of 3 cm and 8 mm. So the uh, U-shape that was uh, overlapping the edge of by 3 mm, so I had this piece there. Then I repainted everything and now I have more continuity. Yes, you can still see the gap here, but I don't, didn't want to ruin the statue. So it will be less noticeable if I don't point it out to you and if I, had, uh, if I have something else getting around the statue. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your comments. This is my solution up. It is more sweeter than the previous solution. Let's go, let's continue. I will do, I will finally do my, my new type of, of stairs right now. Then I will go, hey, hi Nan. And I will continue with this section here. I will add, uh, something else the, here. I will start doing the wall all around, all along this uh, uh, section here before getting down there. Uh, okay, so I already marked here 8 centimeters, then 11 centimeters, then 8 centimeters, then 11 centimeters, then the rest there. Uh, I simply had a small dot here, black dot here, black dot here, okay and another one here, and another one here. S simple measurement, guys. So um, uh, it's time to go to work, and I don't know where I want to start. Uh, so let's go with something else. The new type of stairs I want to introduce you in this part seven of the 2021 series is a type I've never done or built before. It is the spiral staircase. Very common, very frequent in ancient times, uh, not that much nowadays. Yes, maybe for some interior design, but not for exterior design. And you know from last part of this series that I have intention to go a little 
ancient times with my new restyling and in ancient times um, spiral staircase uh, were everywhere in inside uh, towers or uh, all along uh, buildings inside castles inside walls uh, around walls so uh, how is conceived uh, a spiral staircase Essentially, you need to have a central column or a central pole uh, here around which, around the perimeter, you need to have the steps regularly distributed all along the perimeter in a spiral movement, spiral and climbing movement, getting from the top to the top of your pole, of your column, very gently very precise geometry and this is how it is built so why starting with this strange setup with some paper a ruler a protractor a geometry compass a pencil and an erasers and not directly with some raw materials as i usually do because there is one reason very important reason uh, the steps regularly distributed means that you need to have a precise rotation angles each step you have in order to get a, uh, regularly distributed steps all around the uh, the pole the column very easy very easy to do in real life <laughs> not so quite with a scale model stairs so I need to start from somewhere and as always the perfect column and the perfect uh, pole is a circular one. So let's try to have uh, a start here. Let me start with the point there. A point has zero degrees. Zero degrees. A circle has 360 degrees let's try to have our little circle here ancient com yes i know nowadays you will use as i do 3d software cad software computer edit drawing so software and so on <laughs> but i need to start from the basic from the old geometry you uh, you learn at school okay I just hope the circle is visible there. Yes, I think so. 360 degrees. So one and only side, the continuity of a side there, all along the perimeter. Not suited for my little project. I don't know precise without a protractor. How will I do each side? I wish to have 20 degrees here. 10 degrees, the 18, 15, 14, I don't know, oh sorry, I I'm, I'm, I'm messed with my paper, uh, okay, uh, but if I go with an octagon, an octagon as the word says has 8 sides, so one side here, 8 sides for the octagon, can I do an octagon starting from a circle, let's try to see. Let's take those 360 degrees and let's divide them by 2. I got 2 segments and I got 180 degrees. Okay? If I cut here the circle in half, I get 2 segments, one there and one here, with 180 degrees and 180 degrees. Okay? Not enough because I, I will have it, and simply two sides. Let's divide those 180 degrees by two. I will get 90 degrees and I will get two segments here. Divided once again by two, I get four segments. Two, two multiplied by two equals four. Four segments are not enough. Let's divide those 90 degrees by another time two and I will get four segments divided by two, eight segments. Enough? Yes, enough, eight segments, eight sides. Let's have a proof. 
here. 90 divided by 2, 45. 45 multiplied by 8 sides. 40, 32 plus 4, 36. The proof is here. So, if I can achieve 45 degrees 8 times, I will get an octagon regularly distributed inside the circle. Let's go, guys. In some minutes, it will be much more clear. Sorry, I have too much paper there. Let me go here. Not precisely where I want to start. Yes, let's say this is 180 degrees. So, first step here, 45 degrees there. Then 90 degrees there. Then 135 degrees there. Then 180. So, each time here I have 45, 45, 45 and 45 degrees. Let's have a line there marked each time I have a 45 degrees there. 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 And then 180 degrees. Let's have some segments here. One. Two, three, and four. Do I need to go with the measurements once again? No, this is symmetrical. So I will get one here, I will get one here, and I will get one here. So I will get Five segments, six segments, eight segments, seven segments, sorry, and eight segments there. Okay, let's check the camera. Okay, it's still rolling. Now, Yes, very beautiful. I have an octagon there. I have my octagonal uh, column pole there. But I need to have the steps and the way to regularly rotate the steps. Okay, let me go with this point here and let me have one, two, three, four segments from this side. So I will go from this point to this point. Line there. So I will need to go this point here. One, two, three, four. I will go with this point there. Okay. Now let's say I will limit myself to I don't know ten centimeters. I'm going very big scale there. Okay. So ten centimeters and 10 centimeters there with a line going there okay eraser This could be a step for me, okay? Yes, it could be. So I will place one first step there, then I will do the second one rotating this angle here soup to this angle here and I will have the second step or the other way. This one first step and then I take another piece of uh, styrofoam and I will rotate this angle to this angle starting from the center there using the sides of the octagon and I will go there and I will go here but the steps will tend to fall down 
because I don't have a support each time I make a rotation, but let me go this way. So one, two, three, four segments here. I will go there. And I will go with 10 centimeters here. And I will go there. But you can see that this is too exaggerated. So let me just have half here. So this is one, sorry, let's get this, 1.5 centimeters. Okay, 1.5 centimeter. 75 millimeters, let's go with 75, uh, 6, 75 millimeters there. And here, the half section here is 9 centimeters, so 4.5 centimeters and let me go there let me erase this good invention the eraser and let me erase there so, oops okay so each time if I have this design here, each time I have a step there, the second step on top of this one, rotating it from this side here, from the center, rotating it there, and the second step will have half of a step under it, okay, to uh, support the rotation, and precisely the step we can start here. <laughs> Otherwise, you, if you go there with the second step, the second step tend to, uh, to follow down because it has the support with the limit of the two steps being there and here. Okay, so this is a way better, this is a way better uh, design for a step for my Mm, uh, spiral staircase okay i hope this is uh, clear enough why i've done this but i will come here in just some second so this is how it is done by hand this because i need some more examples this is the way it is done in 3d software okay with my preferred 3d software and you know that I have a 3D preferred software. I won't state any brands here. Uh, so this is the, the those are the real dimension. I will go with a diameter of two centimeters here, and the the steps will have a length of five centimeters. I think there. Yes, five centimeters here. 5 cm here and obviously this is half a step so this is only 4.5 cm I need this design here to go with on top of my styrofoam so let's hope not to make a mess and let's have it cut <music> You know that I don't need to be as precise because I need to have some ancient stairs, but this is one of my steps. Okay, I will go like this on my spiral. Let's try to have one there. First, the first step, uh, and I will go and make uh, some more. Then uh, I will uh, get in touch with you in just some minutes. I want. Uh, uh, I don't want to 
make you uh, annoyed by that process. See you when I have all the pieces I will need done. Okay, finally, it took me around one hour and a half to cut every single uh, step I will need for my spiral staircase. I have here a total of 12 steps adding a thickness of 9 millimeters and three steps having a thickness of four millimeters. Okay guys, so nine millimeters, 0 0.9 centimeters, uh, 12 times, uh, that's equal to uh, 10.8 centimeters, uh, 0 0.4, centimeters three times equal 1.2 centimeters 10 8 plus 1 2 equals 12 centimeters what I will need for my eighth okay because each level is 12 centimeters eight I forgot to take um, the uh, tin foil <laughs> I will need to age also these uh, steps here so let me just take some tin foil okay tin foil as always I will not age those three little uh, tin uh, steps because they will go under the other steps. Try to hold on. You put up a fight, just a little too long. It all fell apart. He didn't plan me all this time. Why is it so hard to see? I keep hearing. placement the rotation for uh, an eternity so I will wait for the uh, glue to uh, dry uh, some minutes okay let's check
check the glue yes okay um, this uh, is the start of the uh, spiral staircase and you are seeing that uh, I will need to uh, fill some gap here and there I will need to um, file maybe something and paint everything yes I need to paint everything add some balusters here and with an end rail it is for a late time I need to place it where I want it before deciding the type the kind of baluster and end rails I want to add in here okay and uh, mm, one last thing uh, is still missing the final platform here okay that uh, I have a, a long piece here of uh, styrofoam because I don't know yet how long uh, I will need it but it is it has the same width of the uh, step here 4.5 centimeters and I will be adding it there okay once uh, I've decided where to place it with some and rails and the balusters also here along this um, here I still need something to do and then for the uh, spiral staircase it will be all uh, obviously here I don't like the way it ends there so Uh, the no, I will use this one, okay. This is the end of the first part of the um, spiral staircase. The second part will come when I will use it in my village. Obviously, during the final recap, I will show you uh, how it will be used, okay? So, let's go with something else. It is time to continue uh, with the restyling. It is time to start building a wall and some arcs. I just finished making uh, uh, some bricks, a good amount of bricks there, uh, and I've used my standard 9mm thick styrofoam, and then I cut the bricks of 2 centimeters by 1 centimeters, and then I passed all of them into the shredding machine, into the aging machine. The, now all the bricks are aged and with a good or correct uh, texture on top of them. Uh, I will build a wall, a section of wall here, all along this border here. I just uh, told you some very long minutes ago. And I will have pieces there, wall, arc, wall, arc, and wall for the rest of it. Uh, I will use uh, uh, bricks and also other ma raw materials here, but I'm not working here because I'm not in a very good position. I would need to go that way. So, and more of it, uh, I will work standing. I don't like work standing when I have to do some precision work. So I will change of scenarios and I will use also a piece of a carton uh, paper there. You hear that the sound, it is the same paper I'm using to print the, the walls there uh, because I will uh, glue all the bricks on top of uh, carton paper. Uh, firstly, because I don't want to glue directly on the styrofoam here because uh, in the future I will need to make some stairs 
getting from the first level down to the uh, beach level to the dock to pier level so i want to uh, i want to do some clean work there i will proceed using some carbon carton paper sorry uh, so i will need to change the scenario in just three oh sorry guys also three because not all of you are from europe two one let's go good let's start with the wall and i will need to go with the wall that is somehow damaged okay let me check if i can get the measurement here eight centimeters then as i told you 11 centimeters there much or less then some more uh, 11 i don't have 11 centimeters but hey let's go with this section here i will use my bricks i just made and i will use a couple of rows of them because i need a very thick wall because this is a defensive it was considered a defensive wall so i will go with a couple of um of um, of bricks each time and this is uh, nine millimeters this is nine millimeters this is two millimeters there 20 millimeters much or less because the aging has changed them by one centimeters there almost one centimeters yes uh, these those are the bricks i will be using so some glue and then some cutter because uh like cutter because i need to do some work my glue here and i will start not from here but i will start here normally i should get uh, around eight eight centimeters so four bricks there okay four bricks much or less i will i forgot my tweezers i will go and get my tweezers got my tweezers guys first uh, let me do something else i will need to use i will need to use in uh, some long minutes those pieces of styrofoam for for the art obviously but right now i don't need to talk, to think about them uh, just for these two pieces that as I will, I will using two bricks I will also use uh, those two pieces glued together so I will prepare them and I will go with some glue Let's continue or let's start with the bricks there. Okay, some glue. Good. Let's start with some bricks. And I will start from this side here. Okay. Second brick.
some more some art there okay so I will need to pose the making of the wall here okay and I will concentrate on the arc let me just clean a little bit then I will do the um, the the arc a little less messy guys let's take my previously glued yes not perfectly there together but this is, as I was told, telling you 15 by 15 centimeters. Okay, don't need to use them. I also have here another two pieces of styrofoam on which I will uh, work right now, and they are not nine millimeters thick, but they are between four and four and a half millimeters thick. Yes, four and a half millimeters thick. And I will work on those pieces there. I think they are 15 by 15. Those two. 15 by 15. Yes, 15 by 15. I need to work on common. I, obviously, I will not use such a good art. But I will start from this one. Then I will use this other one in some minutes. I need to have a good looking arc, yes, I'm still here guys, I want to have a good looking arc, sorry, um, and uh, uh, I want to start from somewhere, I will start from this piece here, I got my cutter, I got my tweezer, pencil, I got my uh, little pencil there, I miss something, I miss my geometry compass because my protractor, I will have my protractor here, I miss my geometry compass, be right back. Okay, I brought both of them because I don't know which one I will be using. Now, let's add the middle here, 15 divided by 2 equals 7.5. So I'm going 7.5 millimeters there, 7 centimeters and 5 millimeters, guys, 7.5 centimeters. Okay, right there. Now I'm going, I think I will go 
uh, an arc around yes seven centimeters okay so 3.5 centimeters from this side and 3.5 centimeters from the other side I think you are not seeing anything so let me just go with this there and there so the middle here 7.5 centimeters then 3.5 centimeters from this side and 3.5 centimeters from this other side my opening uh, in the arc will be 7 centimeters all right let me go 7 centimeters from here okay in 8 7 centimeters there let me check dance, taking a chance if you Yes, you are certainly not seeing it. Let me go with my pencil trying to mark it even more. Maybe now you are seeing it. I have a mark here. Okay, now, 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 let me do something. I will go with two centimeters okay there then one centimeter there then two centimeters once more time and this time I will simply use my pencil there Club until the morning break Moving your body Talking to my soul And I got all my sisters to the right We'll be moving till the break of light And I got all my brothers with inside Turning till the clock will strike surrounding uh, bricks the surrounding bricks here are marked with my pencil I will not cut them I will cut here there 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 but these will remain there okay uh, I will go with this now let's talk about the arc here okay um, and let's have another thing if here I went with uh, this I will go the other way and add a centimeter more so if this was 3.5 let me go with 4.5 good as possible and I will go with 20 degrees each time
very gentle. In order to let you see what I intend as a design here. This is the key of the arc. So bigger one. Okay. And those one are in the middle. This one is once again there. And this one is here. And this one is here. Okay. Maybe I have uh, a little problem here but with the aging the surface here I will remove this one here the problem that I have here because I shouldn't have traced the arc even there but I will certainly find a solution when aging all this okay this will be glued on top of this piece there okay and <clears throat> then I will certainly cut here or the or here I will cut. Obviously I need to cut in some way the around the border there, then I will glue it on top of it. Then I will cut here inside, I will cut here inside. I don't know if I will go simply with the cutter or if I go with the uh, styrofoam cutting table. But here is what I have. Then I will place the wall here, right there. I don't know if you are seeing anything. No, you are not probably seeing. But I will place it there. And I will go from, from here on with uh, everything else. Uh, I intended to have 11 centimeters, but instead I have 7. Uh, 11 and a half. Yes, I have 11 and a half there. So... <clears throat> Uh, 11 centimeters so I will need probably most probably to cut here there at 11 centimeters once I've completed it okay so I will cut it all right there then I will go with uh, the uh, rest of the design uh, I will go a cut I will do a couple of feet one of each side here uh, of the entrance and this will protrude a little with these uh, uh, 4.5, 4.5 millimeters from the rest of the bricks because this is the entrance. And I will have a couple of them, one here, space, some more walls, and then another one. Uh, I will do uh, the other one. Okay, done. Both of them are done now, okay? The same dimension. Uh, I will proceed one step at a time. Uh, I will go and cut uh, the outside here simply because uh, I don't want it to give uh, bad stability then I will so I will cut the inside after I glue them there but uh, for now I need to go with the outside so I will cut here the outside of the of the perimeter okay complicated little long but I'm crazy I'm done with this
cut there. Uh, I will proceed uh, step by step. Let's check if it has glued together. Yes, it has glued together. Let's check for a moment the wall there, um, how it has come. Okay, glued together from each side. You can see I have some damaged bricks there. Okay, here, there, and also here. I have a profile there with very, very old and damaged bricks. I will need to go there. Okay. I will need to go there, uh, so I will get 11 centimeters. So let's have one thing done before. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. I'll slip into your dreams tonight oh, oh, oh. So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me break in your sweat You're falling into me, touch me I swear You would do anything that I want So keep us awake till the dawn With this border here, I will simply need to be more precise to refine. Uh, it, it will be too much uh, precise if I go with uh, this profile here. Okay, uh, imagine to have this profile here. Okay, this profile here. Mm, no, not too good. Okay, um, I will go with this, even if it is much more good looking if I go this way here. Okay way much good looking I don't know let me proceed right now I need to do the opening very very hard but uh, let's go Get to Mars, oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind just watch me break in some some uh, deepness to the whole the thing I will need to cut the other arc 
then I'm, I'm always making a mess here, everywhere, a mess. <coughs> I'm so sorry guys. Uh, let's go. <laughs> It's been a while since we talked And my head's getting nervous I can handle this on and off I can't know I just got I will need to wait for it to dry I will get this one There, guys, I don't know if you can see it I will go this way then another wall here, then another heart the other way, okay? So I think I will get some more aid here to the wall. And so let's get some more bricks there, okay? I know where you are, if I want to remain sane. But you go send me text and call, oh no. You could be running off with somebody else. Tell me what's the hold up, baby Tell me why your phone's off Lately, I don't wanna go off Crazy, but I think I'm losing it Tell me where your heart is These days, are you being honest With me, I don't wanna go this Cray cray, but I think I'm losing it But I think I'm losing it I think I'm losing it I think I'm losing it But I think I'm <coughs> Okay guys are you seeing me? I hope. Bye bye. Um, I think I will stop right now. I will just simply uh, file everything I will there. I will not have time to. Yes, I have time, but this video I think will be exaggeratedly long. I feel it. So I will continue next time with some more walls there and another arc and I will get from there. So let me just, while this is drying once more, one more, one more time, there. Let me see what I can do here. Let me check, yes. I've been staring at my phone too long, feel my eyes getting tired. The battery is long, long gone Oh no, no There is something you're not telling me But I can't wrap my head around it You said you and I were meant to be Last week You could be running off with somebody else Ooh, boy, I ask myself Yeah Wait, maybe you're just off doing what you said Okay, I was not trying to have the exact same thing from one side and the other because aging here caused some damage. I was just uh, having some uh, uh, beveling here and there. Okay, uh, but, oops, see what I was. This is not dry enough, but it is just a brick and it will glue back together. I was trying to have a symmetry inside in order if I look from this side I will go directly without having some borders protruding and if I'm looking this other way I want to have the same thing not some bump here in the middle looking here or looking from the other side so this is all I think really all let's see you sorry I will clean I don't know if I am a mess but 
let's say I will see you in just some seconds for my final recap guys see you final recap guys and I will start from here from the spiral staircase and uh, not completed still lacking uh, some uh, baluster and end rails I've applied a piece of mask tape or paper tape here in order to support the platform here uh, still don't know if this will be the final position but I wanted to show you another way to get from one level to another using a more elegant uh, solution there for me at least it is an elegant solution as we are talking of uh, aesthetics this could be a problem for someone out there but hey uh, maybe this won't be the final platform because you can see that if i'm coming here then i can have the platform coming a little more uh, here a little more uh, frontward and having a little niche in there forgetting something else i'm still uh, thinking about it obviously with some uh, fences here all around maybe like that but this is a way uh, sometimes you tend to use the um, the the spiral staircase in this position here uh, right now it won't fit because i haven't cut the platform correctly for this position and having it there and then just simple the people coming here and getting there okay uh, it prevents uh, the view the, because the view will be from this side you will see from the opposite way and it will prevent you from seeing where the stairs the spinal staircase start but if you use it like that okay the people will see where the stairs starts climbing okay where the stairs start climbing and then where I want to go and all the spiral is visible from that point and I can have something there. So you can see the starting point and the ending point. Um, I, I tried uh, this in 2016 I think. I couldn't achieve a good solution because I haven't thought about it very for a very long time. Uh, so I simply designed it in 2017, 2018, 2016, I don't remember, no, 2018 and 2019, impossible, so it is or 2017 or 2016, ancient times, <laughs> like a Greek times, guys, and so I uh, am going with the solution here, there. Uh, here I will go something new for due to the restyling and maybe I will go with some more uh, road I don't think I don't okay you aren't seeing that okay maybe here I will have a prolongation here going with some buildings here all along this side here okay maybe I will show you from this other angle so I was thinking yes the twin stairs down there the stairs there, the spiral staircase here, but then some continuity here in order to get there with a building down below there, but also a long wall with something here all along this place here, all along the uh, sea uh, side here. With, uh, that's why I've finished the sea right there, very straight, because I wanted to have some walls there with some buildings going up towards the sky here and have a good looking background here. It is for a later time. So let me just move around and let just me point out to this, the arc and the uh, ancient uh, wall there, okay? Like that, okay? Still need to finish it, but the ruined wall didn't come out too bad. Okay, uh, maybe I will go uh, ups and get a little closer. Okay, this is the arc, and I will have some more walls there. Another eight centimeters of walls, then another uh, exact same arc right there. So I marked there 11 centimeters. I was, my intention was to end right in the, this point. I go a little over, but this is the result. And if I'm going there, I can see through it. Maybe it's good if I show you from the other side. So you can see through the arc and you can see the sea and the harbor there and the pier 
Still not good looking view here because there is no secret because I still miss a wall there. But it will go, oops, it will go right there in the middle, okay? And everything else, okay? So sorry for the mess of the room, guys, but I'm uh, pl in plain work, so didn't have time to clean the room. And I've already shown you here uh, when I started this video the outcome of the new solution I've found. Maybe a little more light there. Let's go with some more light. I don't know if you get some more light. Maybe yes, right now. Okay, it is a closer view. Uh, I still didn't have changed the water in the fountain, but I will proceed. I will add some more um, baluster and then rails right there, done exactly like this one. But it will be for next time. And the overall look from the distance for the uh, spiral staircase is this one, okay? From the distance and here from the distance, okay? Everything else from the distance. Okay, I think that's all for today. Sorry, I haven't been too productive. I could, uh, I thought I could, oops, the camera is getting everywhere. I thought, sincerely thought I could have gone with more of the wall. But uh, but no, in fact, no, it's taking me too long. You have seen that it is very consuming building, not the arc, but the wall itself with all the bricks that need to be worked singularly. And from this point here, you can see that the, the bricks here have been worked single one by one, okay? So carved one by one, getting a, an, a ruined wall effect, okay? And so I will say goodbye to my little nun hair and see you for the outro in just three. No, let's go with the outro. Maybe you are wondering if I went completely and free with my art there. Yes, I went completely and free. And you got the proof due to the fact that I'm always filming in real time and I try to cut the less sequences as possible from what I shoot. But sometimes I need to cut sequences due to my very inappropriate language, guys. I am human after all, I'm human. But I planned it, yes, I planned it. Let me just get a little closer. This is the arc I planned for last season project. It was in the middle of the uh, set of the suspended uh, railroad section you know, right there and uh, I planted it in order to let just one people at a time get into it, uh, one figure at a time. Uh, this time I, for this new project I wanted two people, two figurines being able to get through it so I went wider and I went higher also. The, uh, adding a, a new type of border there. Uh, the second uh, function of the of having a so uh, wider and higher uh, arc is to let the camera see through it. I think it could be a good effort. We have just seen a preview right uh, before. Uh, do I plan everything in advance? No, certainly not. The overall project is never planned at, uh, at um, previously. Um, in advance, but some key elements like such as the twin stairs, the uh, spiral staircase, and the arc is planned in advance. I'm not crazy, guys. I don't have <laughs> that much time to lose trying and retrying things, so I plan something key elements each time. But the wall there, absolutely not planned in advance. I went completely and free. Uh, I just visualized it in my sick mind. Then I went from there, brick by brick. I still don't know the outcome because I'm missing uh, all the remaining part here, some more walls and another arc. And I think the other arc will surely not be identical to this one. We have seen that due to my uh, building construction, the one side and the other weren't completely identical, so I needed to adapt. But I knew that because of my building technique. Uh, so next uh, uh, art will be in some way different from this one. Uh, 
and I don't think I will go with the damaged arc because I want to give you all the impression that an arc is forever. I know, ladies, that diamonds are forever, but let me just say that also arcs are forever. So please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English, and if you wish, see you next time.